newcomer to the whole situation is British director Peter Hewitt, who's only 29 and a graduate of the National Film School. I made a short film called The Candy Show and took it out to Hollywood, showed it around a bit, and it went down rather well. And um, that was that, really. And they handed me the script of Bill and Ted Go to Hell, as it was called then. Ted! It's the Grim Reaper, dude! Oh. How's it hanging, Death? I thought the chances of me getting this are so remote anyway that I might as well say what I thought was crap and what I thought was great about it anyway. And so I wanted to change a lot of it and, um, and said exactly that. So, and they seemed to like that. How many other people were wanting to direct it? Millions must have wanted to. Well, apparently 50. This is what they put in the press releases, though I never saw any of them. Um, I just remember it got down to two of us and uh, it was me and this guy, Dwayne Dunham, who was David Lynch's editor. Oh, he and, feels terrible um, now. He's sitting at home thinking. <laughs> well, I, they, they all, and then the whole bunch of them, nipped over to Cannes to have a meeting with him because he was just winning a prize for uh, Wild at Heart. So I thought, oh, well, that's it. Forget this. Yeah. And then they came on back and gave it to me. So I don't know what he said. Sorry. Edition, Wrong number. The Candy Show. Hewitt's film school graduation short, The Candy Show, was obviously a persuasive factor, a futuristic tale of a grey civil servant obsessed with the pastel-coloured world of a TV sitcom won him a BAFTA award in 1989. The Candy Show cost £16,000, quite a contrast to the mega box available for Bill and Ted. $23 million is what it ended up Was that up thrilling at. or was it a pressure? It was just numbers on a page, zeros on a page. J7. Hit. Yeah. I hit. You have sunk my battleship. Excellent! Yeah! What are you planning to do next? Well, hopefully, Judge Dredd. But um, that's kind of up in the air at the moment because Arnold Schwarzenegger may be dread.